Okay, so here we have a Bachman Clarabelle. I just picked picked her off, and remember what I said. See, it can come off. You can put some details inside of her. The glass is not molded in, or the roof is not molded in. The the car the character. But yeah, I might be doing a little side review on the Bachman Thomas because I can't do exactly an unboxing video video of uh, my first Thomas train train set because so that came with a lot of packaging and all that. But yeah, there you have it. It's not only the G scale version of Annie and Clarabelle's that can have their roofs removed this this one can also and now we as we have a clear clear that let's get out Hornby Annie, and she has the shocked look on her on her face, and I don't and I don't get it why both Bachman and Hornby have done this. So, I mean, we only see her shocked like two times or something. Most of the times, she she is smiling, and now with the CGI, we can't she. Both she and Clarabelle just look looks around and they don't say anything. And that's actually really sad because if you remember the season 13 episode, I think it was uh, Playtime. You know, the episode where Thomas first meets Charlie, the fun engine. Well, I don't hate him, but... Uh, Seriously, they just repainted Silly Billy and gave him a different name. So yeah, in that episode where Thomas is taking the famous singer Alicia Body, correct me if I'm wrong, him and Charlie starts playing around tell, trying to prove which one is faster. and stuff and then Thomas suddenly 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 remembers that he has a very important passenger on board and that he must race race to a sp specific party and while he's racing the coupling from from Annie actually actually come off but by the genius of Hit Entertainment that haven't give, given neither Annie and Clarabelle speaking roles, Annie doesn't shout after Thomas. I mean, that would be really logical of uh, Annie to shout after Thomas. Mustn't try him. Or better yet, try to remind Tom. Thomas about the coupling because uh, she sees the coupling become looser and looser every second. But I think I've ranted enough about that. Let's hope in season 17 both Annie and Clarabelle are, be, are giving speaking roles because they have been giving us voice actor. So it wouldn't be fair just to give them a voice actor by promising uh, the fans that they will be giving speaking roles in the future and then they don't do that. That would be really sad. So yeah. Both 
Both Annie and Clarabelle are really nice mo models. As I said, they're not the TV series accurate, but I don't mind. I just like like them the way they they are. And now we get to the main course. The big daddy of, of the set. The main attraction. Hornby Thomas. I mean seriously, Hornby did a very good job on this one. Because this is what Thomas looked like in the books. You know, the Railway Series books. Now, he has done a, a lot of things on the Island of Solar. I don't exactly remember when he arrived, but he arrived after Edward. I, that I know, because Edward arrived in 1915, I think. I think I'll have to do more research on that. And but yeah, Hornby did a really good job on this one, and this one is uh, I think it is the 2010 model because it doesn't have the traction tires, and there is a lot of a lot of discussion on this uh, on this Thomas's holding capacity because I remember seeing in one video, I think it was Simiscream. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I will, I will try to put an up an annotation on when when I got that right. Where we see this model hold eleven. Yes, you heard me correct. Eleven Hornby Mark Mark One coaches. We did, and I think uh, that uh, Simiscree pointed out that uh, if you have a Veiled, maintained, tracked, and and well maintained train that this Thomas can actually pull. pull uh, Eleven coaches. Well, uh, I have six uh, Mark II coaches, and I've seen him kind of struggle with that. But then again, I only have uh, like a star, star set circle. Or oval layout, so so then again, that is actually. But but for this guy to pull eleven coaches, I think that is really really well done of Hornby. As you can see, it does have the the smiley face that Thomas is famous for, and especially the whis the whistles. Let me see if I can zoom that in. Sorry about the shadow from my hand. Let's see. Oh yes, you can see them. That is actually really nicely done, and I I know you can't see that, but it does have cab details. I don't f I don't think you actually have a floor. Hang hang on, let me. Let me switch on that other light that I used. Maybe that will give us a better light. Oh yeah, as you can see it just got very bright. So let's see. Ah, a little bit better. And as you can see it shows off more dust. Stop me, I haven't cleaned this in a while. So I think I'll be giving a, a good rub. But yeah. If you can make it out. He have a slightly bit of cap detail. And he also has a floor. Which is actually really nice. His livery is right on. And the number one. Which he is really famous for. So yeah. As I said, this Thomas is actually based off his real engine, the, the London Brighton and South West. Co no, wait, South Coast, I think it is. You know, LBSC E2060 tank engine. And this one has the extended 
the tanks which means that he can hold a lot more water and so yeah this is actually this is actually one of my finest models my number one model is my Stanier 5MT from the West Coast Railways with Pullman train pack which I will put a link on in the, in the description so yeah as you can s as you can see you get a buffer and some tracks and, and the pa and the controller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to put out this this track and have him run around. Now I think I'll only run him first because he hasn't been run in a while so he might be a little stiff. But we'll come back to that. Well now that we got everything set up and I did something unusual unusual was that I instead of putting the point and divert the track out from the from the oval I decided to put it the opposite way and direct it in to the to, to the little layout well you get you get my point point or idea So let's first let's just put Tom Thomas on. That should be pretty easy. Yeah, I think he's on. Hang on, let me just the cam camera off the tripod. So there you have it. I'll first see if he's oh he's on he's on but yeah he's a bit stud st stuttering. Yeah, he stuttered a little bit on the point. Oh. Yeah, I think he's gonna need a little run running in. So I will stop right now and just give him a little bit of running in. Okay, after a little bit of time, I've given him a little running time. So, he's a really nice, nice model. He runs smoothly without the traction tires. He's a really, really nice engine. So I think we should just stop him and put on and if and Clarabelle.
there they're on so let's just see if we can... oh yes right there switch switch direction and have Thomas couple And away he goes. Just look at him, pulling Annie and Clarabelle just like a normal day. So yeah, Thomas is a really nice model, especially the Hornby the one. But if you don't like the Hornby one, then just get the Bachman Man version, because uh, that one is more TV series accurate. But this one is supposed to be based on his railway series, except for Manny and Clarabelle, which are four-wheeled coaching. But let now now I think we should really test out how strong Thomas actually is.